This is the Slapjacks installation video. Before we get started, you will need your Slapjacks, an eighth of an inch bit, driver, small butane torch, the provided Loctite, and some sort of degreaser. We recommend that you use a high quality bit. We use and recommend the Weha brand that are available on Amazon. Before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about the Slapjacks. We originally designed the Slapjacks to provide instant leg deployment capability for the Atlas series of bipods. Instead of having to use the button to deploy the legs, you can just slap the legs into place. That was the inspiration for its development. Okay, for the installation. The first thing we're going to do is apply some heat to the heads of these screws in order to melt the Loctite or uh, thread adhesive that are on there. So focus the heat right on the head of the screw. We're trying to get the screw hot enough to start melting the thread locker. Okay, let's turn the torch off and try it. If it'll start moving, go ahead and remove the screw. If it does not, apply more heat till the thread locker is melted enough to turn the screw. Be mindful that that screw may still be hot. Okay. Now the bipod leg is separated from the body. Before we install the slap jacks, I'm going to put a light coat of oil on it. And then using a degreaser. I'm going to clean the screw to remove the original thread locker that was on there. We also want to clean out the body that uh, screws into. Then we're going to put a dab of Loctite on the screw. As you can see there. Okay, we want to lay the slap jacks flat on the leg and then begin to install that on the body of the bipod. I'm just turning the screw by hand for now to get it started. And then I'll snug it down with the bit and driver. Okay, we tighten it until it's snug and back off just a little bit, approximately eighth of an inch. 
You want to make sure that the legs move freely. You want to minimize side to side play. Okay, that one is done. So turn the bipod over and we'll do the other side now. Same as before, we'll apply a little bit of heat to it. We want to warm that screw just enough to begin to melt the thread locker. Again, being mindful that that screw may be hot. Let's try to unscrew it now, and it's moving. So we're gonna remove that screw from the bipod body. Remember, it may be hot. Just like before, we're gonna degrease the screw in the, uh, the hole in the body. Remove all of the original thread locker. Okay, once again, I'm gonna put a dab of oil on this. Okay, now we're gonna stack up the pieces. We don't wanna forget the Loctite. Once again, I'm starting it with my fingers to make sure it's not cross-threaded. Then I'll finish off with the bit and driver. Snug it down, then back off about an eighth of an inch or so to give it room to move. Make sure it rotates freely. The slap jack's function works as it should. There's minimum side-to-side -side play. At this point, the slap jacks are, in, are installed.